Okay, now you guys just simply, they just swapped. The, this, the, they just took the trace that was jealous of me and not wanting to make it seem like she had an, an ulterior motive. They just made it, oh, she's jealous of her. That's all they did was swap. But let's talk about the idea of bodies and comparisons and standards and what you did with Therese and I and how it didn't make much sense. And So first of all, I need to say that Teresa is not my full sister. And so her, if you look, when her cousins and her aunt and everybody jumps on board to defend her, look at how these people are structured. They're thick, okay? Her line, her grandma's original name is Afrique. Her people are Jewish. They migrated through Africa, okay? Um, and you know this to be true. You know that it can't even be that removed that many generations back because her hair is naturally... CC, which is curly curly hair, which necessarily is only found in its origins in one spot, has to be sub from sub Sahara Africa. So that's the proof is on her head, okay? Her people are thick, like Africans are thick, right? Can be thicker, right? In, in the frame. And so she has wider hips, she has a booty, you know, like, you know, she's, she's got this sort of African white girl look is exactly what she looks like because that's exactly what she is. Now, if you look at my lineage, I took after my father who's tall and thin and we have anemically starched heritage of Europeans staring out the dreary window for generations. Okay. So vastly different types of bodies but however let's look at a few things first of all overweight bodies are starving bodies and so if you look at Teresa's weight fluctuations if you look at um, her the obesity of her husband who's about six foot and about 300 pounds um, that's obese and it means that the way that she's feeding her family and you do see a little bit of overweightness and and I don't, pick, I don't like to pick on children, but a little bit, and her son, um, that, um, you know, s that bigger bodies, overweight bodies are starving bodies, and the nutritionist will tell you that, um, that they are. Um, it means that, for example, um, they're eating too much of a certain type of thing and not enough of another type of thing. That's exactly what it means. Um, it also means that probably her foods are GMO, so she's not paying attention to nutrition though I'm held up to a standard of Teresa she's not I, I wouldn't say that they're particularly healthy no um, and um, if we look at who was jealous of whose body is actually and you guys won't be ready to go there but the other way around and why does it make sense that Teresa would want my body as opposed to the other way around well, look at her goals to be a singer, to be an actress, to be a ballerina. I meet all the industry standards for these. Yes, I, I have a ballerina's body. There's no denying that. Graceful, long, give me a break. And, you know, I'm not saying that I agree with the industry, but we see more and more pressure on actresses to maintain a youthful look through being thin. We know this, you guys. Um, or singers as well to be sing to to be thin and that's of course your opera which sorry I said did you are you <laughs> oh wait she's not um, and so we do see that pressure for, on the majority of the industry well these are all the industry facets that she wanted but I don't need her body to be a stand up comedian I don't need her body to be a writer I don't need her body to be a painter. And um, her body was slow and stumpy. I'm almost 5'9". I have a long reach. It gave me a lot of advantage in sports. So, like I was a point guard. I can't be a point guard with that stumpy little body. She's like 5'3", five, 5'4". Five, like, I don't know, 160? She's slow as shit, okay? You go ahead and if she, she won't do it, but the athletics challenge that I gave her, go ahead. She's slow as shit. I was quick as hell. Yeah, man. So I couldn't have been a shortstop with her body. I couldn't have been a point guard with her body. Uh, it doesn't make too much sense. I couldn't have done runway with her body. 
there's industry standards of height it doesn't make much sense you just arbitrarily said it that I was jealous and this was an, uh, and I think it's because she has a beautiful body that you could say one might be jealous of that but it didn't her body didn't serve any purpose to me whereas mine which is the reality and I've actually proven it to you she's very jealous of my legs she's wanted to be a ballerina she can't do the lips <laughs> for heavy fucking bones <laughs> because she's slow she's slow she lands she used to shake the the uh, <laughs> then she'd do a recital she would shake the seats when she would land yes stone and I mean agreed it's kind of an old building but <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and so, you know, it just doesn't make, you just reverse it. But I'm telling you why, the logical reason why it doesn't make any sense. I didn't need her body, but she very much needed mine. And she was quite resentful in that she didn't make it in the industry as anything. And, and she said that if she had looked like me, if she had had my body, um, then maybe she would have. I don't know it's that simple. I think that she's beautiful on her own, but, um, you know, they were, we all know it, you guys, and I'm not agreeing with it, but I'm telling you the industry would have told her to lose weight, and you know it. You know it. I'm not making that up. You know it. Whereas they wouldn't have said it to me. I'm already the industry standard. For better or worse, you know it's true. So explain it to me why I was so jealous of her. All they did was swap it. Oh, Teresa is a talented one. I know, Figaro. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I know. So you said. And, you know, and Tara was jealous. And all they did was do a little swappy poo so that you wouldn't suspect an ulterior motive. But it was totally the other way around. I was smarter. I was taller. I was more athletic. I was more accomplished. I was more popular. I was, um student body president at the time that we lived together, Teresa and I. So it means I was more popular than she was as she was not. Continued to be a e ASB in, in my high school as well. So I had to have some kind of something. Yeah. Um, and etc, etc, etc. Just you just whoop. Yeah, it's really cool. Don't You're a fucking loser. L7 weenie. Yeah, what a wiener, though. You are a fucking weenie.